Hey, how's it going out there, YouTube? Sean from Fairweather Cards, welcome back. Uh, today's video is going to be a little different. I'm going to be highlighting my top seven non-sports sets that I've been putting together as of late. Now, uh, this this list, uh, I do not include any of the Pokemon sets that my wife and daughter and I are putting together. This is just other non-sports cards. Uh, most of them are older. In fact, the newest set, and I say newest, uh, dates back to 1996, and it's actually this set right here. It's the uh, Topps Finest set from 1996. Now, I have mentioned before that uh, you know I used to own a sports card shop. This is one of the few non-sport uh, products that I owned back in the, the back in the 1990s, or actually that I sold. I remember selling packs of the uh, 97 Tops Finest um, Star Wars, and I didn't appreciate back then the artwork. Didn't appreciate the set. I feel that the set is uh, vastly underappreciated within the uh, collecting community. Uh, and to be honest, you can find the set uh, on eBay. Um, right now for about $30 shipped to you. And, you know, there are times that you can find it as cheap as $20. Uh, first, finest uh, set for Star Wars, Top's Finest, so it has that kind of chrome technology. There are refractors. I don't have any of the refractors in the set, but it is a complete set minus the inserts. I just love it. There's just some amazing artwork, and, you know, you got to love this Bubba Fett card. There's Greedo. Um, you know, you got the cantina scene with the band members um, and just a lot of really, really, really neat cards. Uh, Java right there. So that is the first of the sets. Next set that I would like to uh, highlight is 1981 Tops. Um, this is Raiders of Lost, Lost Ark, um, Indiana Jones. And uh, this is another very, very cheap set that you can find on eBay currently right now. You can get it shipped to you for about 10 bucks. Um, again, from 1981, you bet. I'll do that all day long. I love the Indiana Jones series. It's just, uh, it was a neat series and I'm excited. I heard there's a new one, new movie coming out. But, uh, you know, just some great looking cards, photos from the, the uh, movie itself. Um, so, you know, really, really neat. Uh, you know, I bought this set. Uh, I, this was not a, a set that I put together when I was a, a, a child. Um, but I, you know, I saw it on eBay and just thought, gotta have it. Next set uh, is the Close Encounters of the Third Kind. Probably my favorite movie set of all time. I was captivated by this movie as a child. Um, in fact, it scared me to death. And I didn't see it until I was a little older. I think the movie came out in 1978 or 79. John Williams uh, directed the music or uh, choreographed the music in this movie. Steven Spielberg was the uh, director. So it just had a lot of star power. You had Terry Garr in there as an actress, one of the leading actresses, along with uh, Melinda Dillon. You know, she's known for our, uh, the Christmas story, that uh, that Ralphie movie where he was getting a BB gun for Christmas. And, of course, Richard Dreyfuss. But, uh, again, this movie just, it scared me. But uh, I'm just, I love this set of cards here. Probably one of my favorite cards there. Card number 41 of the uh, Mothership. Uh, you can find the set on eBay currently for about 10 to 15 bucks shipped. Dirt cheap. And, uh, you know, what a neat set to have. Uh, from you know from a great movie uh going back many many years now let's go back to 1910 this is the t58 um fish set if you will fish of north america now these are tobacco cards uh, from piedmont company as well as um well, I think they have all the, the brands. I only have Piedmont and what's the other one? I can't think of it. Um, of course, Sweet Caporal. I don't know why I couldn't think of that. But, uh, you know, just kind of a neat oddball set. Uh, very eclectic, if you will. Uh, here's a Pompano. Um, these are easily found on eBay for just a couple bucks, if that. And they're tobacco cards from 1910. I would love to put this entire set together. Now, I only have a handful, maybe, what, 10? In fact, I have a double here, this common silver side. But, uh, you know, again, just a, just a neat, eclectic set. 
and uh, I'm having fun looking for these. So if you happen to have any and you want to get rid of them, you know, by all means, uh, hit me up. The one thing that I really like about it, and this is kind of high tech for, <laughs> for back in the day, but there's actually some silver foil, if you will, or some sort of silver paint. I don't know exactly what you would call it. But on these cards, uh, so the, I guess these are the original foil cards. I, you know, I don't know. If you know any different, uh, let me know. But uh, I just thought that was kind of cool. Now we'll go back into the 1970s. And I'm going to group these all together. This is the uh, base set, if you will. Uh, 1977 Star Wars set. Now there's, what, four or five... Um, I guess releases so you got the red the, or oh, the blue is the first release red yellow green and orange i believe i have all of the the blue my, i just ordered the cards that i needed off my comc account as well as the entire red and i believe yellow sets uh so i'm still missing a few cards in green and then still oh maybe 25 percent of the orange set but this is just the movie that started it all for me as a child. Um, you know, again, just captivated by Star Wars. And uh, my brothers collected these cards, you know, and I was, I was still too way too young to collect. But through the years, I got a few as hand-me-downs. So, uh, you know, just been wanting to put this set together for, for many years. And it's exciting that I've completed the blue and the red. So, you know, and the yellow. So first, second, and third series. We'll go through them all, but uh, neat set nonetheless. And just real quick, I'll go ahead and show the uh, yellow here and the green. Now, I have shown on a previous video, I do have the C-3PO error. But I do not have the C-3PO correction. So that's one of the cards that I need. Cool card or cool set nonetheless. Now let's go back to uh, 1933. Now this is the Gaudi Indian Chewing Gum. Um, I guess Native American set. It's I think there's also a lot of cowboys in the set as well. You know I'm captivated by the uh, Native Americans in the set. I just uh, you know I always loved American history and I, I always had a passion for learning about the, the different Native American cultures and uh, nations. So. You know, saw these years ago and, and got a few and, you know, whenever I can find them fairly cheap on eBay, um, you know, I'll end up buying one. But uh, they just, I don't know, they're, they're, they're pretty pricey. You know, just even beat up cards nowadays are 10, 15 bucks for most of these. I think there's 216, correct me if I'm wrong, in this set. Um, and there was a re rerun or a, a, a second printing back in 1947. All these are from 1933. But fun set nonetheless. And the final uh, set, if you will, uh, this is the 1888 Allen and Ginter Native American Chief set. Um, I only have this one. This is always writing, which is Yampa Ute. But uh, I just, just love this card. And I would love to add more of these to my collection. I um, don't know if you're aware, but uh, there's been several reprints of, of this uh, in fact, there was, the set was released in Canada um, with a candy company, as well as I think there was some tea. I don't remember the number, but a lot of these images were reused in the 1910s. This is the 88 Allen and Ginter and um, 1888 Allen and Ginter. And um, these photographs or, or the, the, the drawings, the paintings that you see are actually up in the Library of Congress, which is uh, you know, pretty remarkable. Um, I just, the, the artwork is just beautiful. It's uh, unbelievable. And I just, I love these cards. Love to put together this set one day. But again, only have the one. So I hope you like it. I hope you found this enjoyable. And uh, I just want to say happy collecting out there and, and be well. Thanks for watching.